Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? So I'm back with uh, some of the new holiday sets uh, that have come out for uh, the Christmas holiday and uh, with a couple of new releases and some uh, favorites from way back when. So why don't we go ahead and get started? And as far as what I have on for my base today, it's the same old Super Goop Glow Oil with the SPF of 50 in there. And then I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. This is their Tinted Moisturizer. I mixed a Fair 4N with Light 8N. So that's what I have on as far as my foundation today. did go ahead and use LYS uh, Triple Fix Concealer. And mine's in LN3. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as blush goes, I do have the new holiday set from LYS on. This is the higher standard one. And so you get three, uh, three different blushes in there. Uh, you get Humble here. And then this one is Unique. And um, you can go ahead and use these even if you have a lighter complexion. Just use a lighter hand with them. And then this third one is actually, let's see, which one is that? Self-Love Shimmer. So this one actually has a shimmery finish. The other two are matte. And that's the way that that one looks. And uh, they are cream. Um, it's not going to be a really creamy cream. Uh, these are, you know, that stiffer formula that warms up once you get it on your face. I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal True Match uh, Lumi Bronzet, and this one's in light. So this is what I have on for my bronzer today. And so that's the way that that one looks. It is shimmery, and usually you can find it in most drugstores and over at Ulta. But you get a really nice big pan of it, and it lasts forever, and it's one of my favorites as well. I guess I was just getting sort of nostalgic. And I also, since I was doing such a vibrant eye color, um, I wanted to go ahead and give the face a little bit of vibrance as well. And I pulled out a powder that I haven't used in a really long time. It's a J-Cat Pearl uh, Luminizer. And so that's what I have on as a finishing powder today. And yeah, it's definitely giving everything a little bit of a... I'm definitely getting some glow from it. So uh, you might want to keep it in mind if you're looking for, you know, a loose powder that has a little bit of shimmer in it because it is, it's pretty nice. As far as what I went ahead and used for the highlighter, the Master Chrome, uh, this is by Maybelline, and this one is in Molten Peach. So, yeah. It's very, very shiny, and as far as color, that's sort of the color that it is. And I thought it went really well over the blushes. I did go ahead and mix, um, let's see, self-love and humble together as far as the blushes that I actually have on my cheek today. So, yeah, that's kind of the way that that worked out. And, um, yeah, finally, you know, people are starting to say that if you want your blushes to look more than just a splotch on your face. You should blend more than one color blush because your complexion, you aren't just one strip, you know, down there. And so Wayne Goss was speaking to that. I've heard a couple of other people speak to that. Here's the next uh, praline as far as the lip color here. Maybe a little bit more of that. So there it is, freshly applied. And as far as what I ended up going ahead and doing for the eye look today is that I've just got a palette that's new to me. It's a Juvia's Place uh, Culture 2 palette, and I went ahead and picked it up. I had, um, well, it was actually on sale. It was after the what is it, the 21 Days of Beauty over at Ulta. Um, it was on one of their sales, and I picked it up over there. So it's a really beautiful palette. It has um, 
a lot of duochromes in here that are really pretty to play with. I actually started out with this shade over here and I put it on the outer corner. Um, I did go ahead and use a combination of this duochrome which is blue to um, green and I used that one on the outer corner. I did use this one down here. I think it's Batik. What a good name, huh? And it's again going to be more of a green to gold. Actually, I think this one has a black base on it, so it's more like uh, blue to gold kind of thing. And then I did go ahead and use this Chua as well to go ahead and add in a little bit. I got a lot of blue and green in there, but this added a lot of gold back into the look, so I went ahead and used this as well. And I think the look turned out really pretty. I'm really enjoying this palette. Uh, the duochromes and the multi-chromes are pretty amazing in it. And it's just a very pretty, very wearable palette. And it can go really, really sparkly. Here's the way that the eye look turned out. So that's the way that that looked. Um, I did go ahead and use the Imride, uh, let's see, gel eyeliner in green as well. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm just actually really happy with some of the purchases that I've gotten lately. And this one really, really blew me away. Um, I didn't expect all of the, I, I didn't expect the shimmers to be so impactful. And um, most of them are duochromes and they're just really gorgeous. So highly suggested. Um, at any point for anybody. I did also pick up another holiday set which was the uh, the mini mascaras and so I do have the tartlet um, on today. It's a tubing mascara and I used it for, well, I did curl my lashes which I never ever do. I used the tartlet and then I put some of the Sky High um, by Maybelline over the top. So as you can see where this whole video is sort of going is that mixing things is, is actually probably what makeup artists have done forever. But I think even us enthusiastic people about makeup um, have really learned um, that mixing blushes, mixing mascaras, mixing lip colors, it's all sort of pretty much doable at this point. Got the Essence Thick and Wow, and so this is a, is in Caramel Blonde. It's what I have on my brows right now, and it works. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful. This brush, I don't know if you can see it that well, is actually pretty big for a brow brush, and so I'm having to, you know, clean up a little bit when I'm using it, which isn't really a problem for me, um, but just to let you know that, yeah, it, 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 that brush, uh, there's a lot of product on it, and you will need to clean up a little bit, is all I'm trying to say. Um, let's see, what else did I do here? Uh, I think that's about all I did. And I like the look. Um, it is very, very sparkly. I actually, I had it going all the way up to the brow and I cleaned up and took it down just because it was that sparkly. And it's middle of the day and I'm not doing, you know, I'm not going in a place that's going to need a high shine, high sparkle. Um, but I still wanted to wear it. So, you know, if I just make sure to keep it in the in the actual crease instead of all over everywhere I feel like I can wear a little bit more of a shiny color and you know be okay with it both myself and the rest of the world is okay with it so um and it does just wash off at the end of the day so that's sort of uh what I have going on and I will see you later and I hope you have a great day